How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I'm getting ready for one of the biggest trades probably of my entire life in terms of dollar value. Uh, and I say trade, it's really going to be an investment. It's kind of a trade. I'll, I'll explain it a little bit more, but I want to talk to you about some of the cryptos that are doing extremely well right now and that will probably do well into the future uh, and why I'm positioning myself in a way that I'm going to make this big trade. I also want to cover some of the top news in the market and talk to you about a long that I just put on. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification underneath the video. Also, while you're down there, there's a link to the to our app that we're creating, Connor, Kenny, and I, uh, Bag Tracker AI, where you can pre-register, put in your name and email. We're going to track all your assets in one place, and we are making a lot of progress on this. This is something that's going to take a little bit of time, but you can pre-register now. Make sure that you're being included in the earliest version of the app. While you're down there, there's a link to Treasure. I'm going to do a product review on their new Treasure Safe 3, probably the safest uh, hard wallet cold storage wallet out there and with my link my financial friend code as well at checkout you can get 15 percent off just make sure you capitalize the m there are links to it underneath the video and i'm talking about a trade today if you want to trade cryptocurrency i don't suggest keeping your crypto on exchanges but you have to make trades on exchanges there's a link down there to bitget i would highly suggest using that because i think it's the best app out there now bitcoin it's actually falling down a little bit right now we can see $33,615. Now keep in mind that QQQ has been falling. Uh, the last couple days has been pretty rough and we're actually falling throughout the day today. So just this uh, last week and a half or the last two trading weeks, we're down like 7%. The S&P 500 over the last couple months down like 9%. And just throughout the day here today, we have fallen from the peak about 1.12%. There are some liquidations as well, but you can see we're staying right in the same range for Bitcoin dominance, pretty much right around 40, uh, 54%. Bitcoin's price too is also just staying pretty steady in this range. Now, I did put on a long just in the last little bit, like last half an hour, because we had gotten really close to where we had seen previous support around 33.3%. And we were right down at the bottom of this week. I almost nailed the bottom. And now my longs are up like 30%. Uh, and I do have a stop loss. So if you want to see those in real time, I did post it to the Patreon. There's a link to Patreon underneath the video. But uh, and now we're moving up a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if we just stayed in this range for a while, consolidate. If we fall down below, it's okay, right? We made a huge move. It's okay if we give some of those gains back to consolidate for the next big move. Keep in mind, again, we have had a lot of long liquidations. I mean, last four hours, we had about $40 million worth of longs liquidated. I'm in this for the long term, not the short term. So I'm okay if we do fall down a little bit and I can purchase some Bitcoin at a lower price. Now, US September core PCE prices raise 3.7% year over year. This just came in today. This is pretty good. This is the lowest that we've seen in two years. And this is the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. And we did have a really strong GDP print uh, yesterday or the day before. So uh, just keep in mind that the economy actually does look pretty strong. Um, and with that in mind, we could see the markets continue to fall, thinking we're going higher for longer. But that hasn't really affected Bitcoin too much. It will affect it long term. But over the last couple of days, the good news or the last couple of weeks, the good news has seemed to outshine the uh, worries about the economy. Also, people are just looking up Bitcoin a lot more. I mean, just over the last few days, this is up to October 23. So earlier this week, um, we had a huge pump, obviously, and Bitcoin interest spiked to the highest level, really, that we've seen since August. So a lot of people starting to get interested in Bitcoin again. And I can attest to that because there are a lot of new people on the channel. They're subscribing a lot of new people that are asking about cryptocurrency. Now, we did have, like I said, a pretty big candle down. But that is normal whenever we have big moves. There's a lot of potential energy because we have people go long or go short. Everyone thinks it's going to continue to go in the direction it's going. And then we can have a wick out where a lot of people get flushed out of the market. A lot of liquidations happen, as I said here. This was pretty small overall, but it can cause a nice $300, $400 candle uh, in a minute or two just because a lot of people can get wicked out. Now, Something that I think is really interesting, if you look at cryptocurrency and you look at the biggest, best performers, obviously Bitcoin dominance has gone up throughout the week. Um, 
uh, just a huge spike here back on Monday, going from like 52% to 54%. But there are some outperformers. And who's really outperforming right now on the weekly are the meme coins, Floki and Pepe. Crazy move, 75%, 86%. We do have some gaming cryptos as well, which is interesting. Um, and, you know, it's just... It shows that even though Bitcoin's doing really well, and I personally invest very heavily into Bitcoin, you can outperform it. Now, it is hard to know exactly when to buy meme coins, but if you time it right, you can do pretty well. And you can see Binance starting a new launch pool, introducing meme coin, meme on Binance launch pool, uh, farm meme by staking B and B TUSD and FD USD. So, Focusing a little bit more on meme coins here, Binance is doing, um, and it makes sense when a lot of money flows into Bitcoin, and then it flows out. Uh, typically, typically we see it go to the L1s first, which there have been some that have done really well this week. Uh, Solana's outpaced Bitcoin. Looks like um, Phantom is also outpaced Bitcoin, but Typically, it takes a little bit longer to get into the meme coins, but right now, a lot of people seem to be investing in memes. So don't be surprised if we see a lot of um, meme coins that launch here soon or uh, a lot of attention on meme coins. I might be talking about meme coins on the channel, but uh, just know that the majority of my crypto is in Bitcoin. Now, that might change here soon. I have been a big proponent of Bitcoin dominance moving up, and I have been largely correct. I hate to always hit on this, but uh, I was investing heavily into Bitcoin and liquidating a lot of my altcoins back around here, around this time frame when Bitcoin dominance was like 40%. And Bitcoin dominance has moved up, basically meaning Bitcoin has become a much larger part of the market and other cryptocurrencies have fallen in value against Bitcoin. Now, we are approaching a range that I think we could see some resistance in. Um, even the people that are most bullish on Bitcoin dominance, like Benjamin Cohen, kind of think we're going to top out around 60%. Now, personally, I probably will shift some of my holdings pretty soon when we get around 57%, because we had seen previous support here. If I hit it perfectly at 57%, or if it goes up to 60 I just want to be on the right side of this, where we start to go into an alt season, after money is plowed into Bitcoin, there will be an alt season, most likely. And I want to make sure that I'm on the right side of that. Typically, we see Ethereum pump first along with some L1s, and then we get further and further down the line into smaller coins. Something that I'm going to be looking at. This is a big trade that I am really wanting to get into. I thought about just holding off, waiting until after I do it to talk about it, but I'm just going to lay it all out there. And then I'll, I'm going to tell the Patreon exactly when I do it, but I'm going to be probably buying the Ethereum Trust, the GBTC, no, the Ethereum version of GBTC, which is ETH-E, Grayscale Ethereum Trust. There are a couple of different reasons for this. One, it moves with Ethereum because it is the Ethereum Trust. So if Ethereum starts to move up, if Bitcoin dominance moves down and a lot of money plows into Ethereum, then Ethereum, uh, ETH is going to go up, but also everyone's paying attention to GBTC. You can actually see the discount going from like 49% earlier this year, 48%, all the way up to now 15%. It was just at 11% a few days ago. So basically, a lot of people think that this is going to get, that the spot ETF is going to get approved. When this happens, I think a lot of people will plow into GBTC. The discount will be swallowed up. It will basically be zero. And then people re will realize that that's probably going to happen to ETH-E. Now, there's, there's more of a question about Ethereum than Bitcoin. But I think that this would be next on the docket. And even if this doesn't get approved right away, with GBTC getting approved to become a spot ETF, the discount, I think, will be swallowed up because people will start thinking, oh, I should invest in Ethereum. Especially if dominance is falling down and Ethereum starts spiking in price, people will think, oh, I can... Get, uh, I can get this discount possibly, so an extra 25% boost and Ethereum is going to go up in price. So I'm going to be looking at this. I may make a big trade where this is this might be the rebalancing in my crypto portfolio. Instead of taking the fees um, 
by actually selling my Bitcoin, maybe I'll just sell some of my Bitcoin derivatives and then also sell or maybe just pile in more cash into crypto in general into ETH E. So that's going to be a big trade, probably the biggest I've ever made, the biggest buy at one time. But I'm trying to make sure that I time it well. So I've been very patient staying in Bitcoin as dominance moved up, even when we had low resets from you know 52% down to 49%. I didn't waver. I didn't sell my Bitcoin and go into halts or anything like that. I'm waiting for a higher dominance. And if you're in the Patreon, uh, you'll know exactly when I do it. I'll say it here on YouTube as well, but it might take a little bit of extra time. Now, ETH versus Bitcoin has broken down. I'll be paying attention to this. In addition to Bitcoin dominance, I'll be looking for some support around 0 0.0486 or 487 right in here where we had seen previous support. Then I'll also look for some support around here uh, about the 0 0.04 five number that we had seen previous resistance now benjamin cohen along with other people think we're going to fall all the way down to where we were in 2020 i don't think that's very likely that would be a huge move from here that would basically mean that if bitcoin stayed where it was that ethereum would fall down to like 600 dollars, which i don't think is likely so i don't i'm not going to wait that long i will probably be looking at getting in if bitcoin falls or if ethereum falls about 10 more percent versus Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin stayed right where it is right now, and then Ethereum falls to around 1600, I'd probably be looking to make that trade. Now, also if Bitcoin falls, let's say Bitcoin goes down to $30,000 tomorrow, that would mean that you would have to account for that in the Ethereum versus Bitcoin value. So if Bitcoin falls 10%, then I'd be looking for Ethereum to fall maybe 20% before making that trade. But it is a fluid situation, so I'm going to continue to monitor it. I might change my mind. So if you want to know exactly what I do, like I said, you can check out the Patreon. Also, while you're down there, check out Bag Tracker AI, where you can track all your assets in one place. And there's a link to Treasure where you can get 15% off. This is the best deal, as I've said, that you're going to get because no one, no one that I know of gives all their affiliate commission uh, so that people can get the discount. So check out that link underneath the video. And check out BitGet as well in case you want to trade like I'm doing right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Of course, I want to say too, that trade is very risky. I'm not saying to do that yourself. You have to make your own decisions. But sometimes, you know, you just want to have a little bit of fun. And it is a small amount that I'm trading. So always do your own due diligence. But I just wanted to give that little disclaimer there. Thank you so much. And I'll see you.